Hi, this is Eric Durack, and welcome to MedHealth Fit, our corporate health series. And today, I'm here again with uh, Tara Egger. She is a local Santa Barbara uh, yoga instructor, but she also does a lot of work with stress management. So the topic of our lecture right now is stress. Everybody has stress today. People don't sleep much. Um, sleep is one of the biggest issues right now in the corporate workplace. People are sleeping so little that their, their production is half of what it used to be. And there has to be a few simple ways to deal with stress. Now, I've been taking your yoga class for uh, the better part of a half a year. And one of the things that you talk about is breathing and relaxation. But there are also a couple other things that are available like um, uh, guided imagery, uh, music and meditation. What are some of the things that you find the best for helping people to reduce their stress? I find the best thing comes back to breath, always comes back to breath, just as simple as... Well, do you feel that people don't breathe right? People breathe, tend to breathe shallow. Right. Because they're, they're rushing around, they're not thinking about their breath. Usually the breath is an automatic thing, but when you bring the mind to the breath, you connect the body with the breath, and all of a sudden the mind is connected with the body, and it's a whole new experience. Mm -hmm. Well, back in the 1970s, Dr. Herb Benson from Harvard University wrote a book called The Relaxation Response, which was this big nationwide bestseller, and he basically said that you have to sort of come back into yourself because he even noticed in the 60s and 70s that people were just doing everything externally and not really even thinking about themselves, whether it's their posture, their breathing, whatever. So you talk about breathing at the office, people can do that, you know, four or five times a day, correct? Oh, absolutely. Give an example of how you're sitting at a computer or you're just getting done with the meeting and how you would actually do a, a breathing response. You can do it right at your desk, which is the nice thing, and nobody ever has to know. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> so you just, you wanna begin with the lifted spine. Okay. So you don't wanna be slouching. This is gonna give your lungs plenty of room to expand. You can place your hands on your knees, hands palms down or hands palms up, whatever okay. feels better for you. Generally in yoga, hands palms up is more of a receiving mode. And then gen just gently close your eyes, focusing whatever you can, maybe an image in your head, maybe there's nothing there, and then just honing in on the breath, deep inhales through the nose, and you feel your belly rise and expand as if you're blowing up a balloon. And then exhale through the nose, allowing the shoulders to draw down away from the ears. You always have the option of counting your breath, five seconds for an inhale, seven seconds for an exhale, and just maintaining that for maybe two, maybe three minutes. Do you feel that counting may, may be a little counterproductive in terms of just doing relaxation? Sometimes the mind is going a million miles an hour. You're thinking about work, you're thinking about your family, what you have to do, and so the mind's not gonna settle down. Counting your breath gives your mind a focal point that's also helping with your breathing. Mm -hmm. So I don't find it counterproductive. Well, would you also recommend in, in what we call small behavior change? We're gonna call them little behavior changes over the course of a day instead of, because we're coming up, as we're filming this, we're coming up on the new year and people are gonna make all these new year's resolutions, many of which they might not see through. But if you do, if you do small behavior changes, so we're gonna concentrate with just breathing. And if we say at the office, a couple times in the morning, a couple times in the afternoon, now you've got these four segments during the day that you can do this breathing and relaxation. Is that something you think that people can strive to attain? Yes, and it doesn't even have to be four times a day. Maybe two times a day is what you can commit to, and mm -hmm. that is better than nothing because your body will acclimate to that. It will get used to that. It will begin to crave that time and become a part of your healthy lifestyle. Well, I, I think that, that people need to make these small incremental changes so it does become habit. So what we wanna do is instead of having the relaxation response, we wanna make this segment the relaxation habit because we know that when you do a lot of relaxation, you, you instigate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation effect because people go all day with the sympathetic nervous system, which means their heart rate is racing, their blood pressure might be up, they're going all over the place and they never get the opportunity to settle down. 
So the goal of this segment is to relax, use your breathing, try to make a small incremental change, and do, if nothing else, breathing or listen to relaxation music at your desk or after work if you work out in the field, and try to make that small change, that relaxation change, every day. Tara Eggers, thanks for joining us on the relaxation segment, and this is Eric Direct for MedHealthFit.